G'day everyone, today we are going to take a look once again at Makita battery chargers, in particular the 40 volt versus the 40 volt, the slow versus the rapid. We're going to see whether charging your batteries on a rapid charger overheats them too much compared to a slow standard charger. We're going to check the temperatures with this battery checker here, so we'll know the internal temperatures of batteries. In a moment I'm going to charge an 8 amp hour 40 volt battery on here and another one on here. They've both been sitting on the bench here for at least 24 hours flat and so they should be nice and cool. It's a pretty chilly day here, it's about the coldest day I think we've had this year in Auckland so the insides of these should be nice and cool. Hopefully the voltages are pretty much the same. We'll chuck them on these charges and then we'll check how hot they got. Because as we all know heat is a killer of anything electronic, especially batteries. And that is why so many people love slow chargers over rapid chargers. When it comes to Makita chargers, however, they do have fans in them. So that helps, of course. Some brands don't have fans in their rapid chargers, and the batteries do get rather hot to the touch. But this is a rapid charger from Makita. It's the first 40 volt charger they released, the DC40RA. And it has two fans inside it. This is the RC. This is the slower charger. And it has a fan in it also, which they didn't used to do on the 18 volt stuff. If you've got an 18 volt charger like this one over here, the slow standard charger, it only charges, no fan, whereas the rapid ones have the fan, whereas both of the 40 volt ones have the fan. Now, this is the RA, that's the RC. What happened to the RB? The RB is the rapid double charger. This is the charger that I use the most and will probably use it at some point in this video along with the adapter for charging 18 volt batteries on the 40 volt chargers. And I've also got at the back there, we've got the 18 and the 12 volt charger on the same charger. Will they ever do a 12 and 18 and a 40? Uh, we've also got, like I said, the rapid charger in the 18 volt, the slow charger in the 18 volt, a dual rapid 18 volt charger. I think the only one I'm missing is the slow dual charger. The 18 volt which is a bit like this one a bit hard to find it's taken me so long to find one of these because they only put them in certain kits you know cheaper lower end things like say with a, a stick vac or a small blower something like that most makita 40 volt stuff will come with one of these rapid chargers and makita have always been good at that at putting rapid chargers in as standard rather than a standard charger they call this a rapid and a standard I call it a standard and a slow pretty much because this is the standard charger. This is what comes with everything. But for this video, we'll call this rapid and standard. What should we call it? Rapid and slow. Hmm. It'll be rapid and slow or rapid and standard. We'll see what happens. So the 18 joule slow, I don't have one of those. It's a bit like this one. Only comes in certain kits, cheap blower kits, um, occasionally in a mower kit, that sort of stuff. And yeah, haven't managed to track one of those down yet. Will it happen by the end of the video? Who knows? Anyway, enough yakking. Let's get into it. Two 8 amp hour 40 volt batteries. How long does it take to charge on this? I don't know. It takes about an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and 20 minutes on this charger. I'm going to set the time up so we can see how long they take. And as soon as they're finished, we will chuck them on here and see just how hot they are on the inside. But first, we need some baseline temperatures. So let's see what they are right now. So the first battery has been charged two times completely flat as you can see there 13 degrees celsius on the inside or 56 fahrenheit and 26.7 volts let's take a look at the next one second battery come on eight charges completely flat 13 degrees celsius 56 fahrenheit it's good 26.8 so only 0.1 of a volt in it so that's pretty good they're nice and even so we'll now chuck them on the charges i'll set the timer We'll see what the fans do, we'll see how long it takes, we'll chuck them back on here at the end and see what the temperatures are. That's what we're here to find out. Does the rapid charger overheat these batteries compared to a standard charger? So a fan has started up in both of the chargers. Fan has just turned off on this charger. Second fan has just kicked in on this charger. So this charger is charging faster. It's got one fan blowing into the battery, one fan keeping the charger itself cool. This one has turned off. 
Will it turn back on before it gets fully charged to cool down the unit or the battery? No. Oh, wait and see, won't we? Anyway, I'm not going to stand here for an hour and a half talking to you while this is charging. I'm going to go off and do some work and I'll come back later. The rapid charger hit the 80% mark pretty much bang on one hour. Just as the garage door's going down, making a hell of a racket. Jeez, that's squeaky. Okay, so 117. And the rapid charger is done. The slow charger still hasn't got to 80% yet. So we'll let it run. But this one, we need to find out what the temperature is now, don't we? So take that one off, see if the fan's going in the other one. It certainly is. I've heard the fans kicking on and off. I think it was this one kicking on and off with its second fan. There we go. 27 degrees Celsius. So it's gone up from 13 degrees to 27. So not too bad there, eh? 14 degrees. All good. Now, when this one's done, if it is lower than 27 degrees, people will have a point. If it is higher, wow. That's going to be interesting, isn't it? Coming up to the two hour mark and we still haven't got to 80%. So that's twice as long. The other one only took an hour to get to 80%. So yeah, she's pretty slow. Finally, we are at 80%. Over two and a half hours. How much longer are we going to have to wait for this blue light to turn green? We've hit the three hour mark. Still going. Finally. So over three and a quarter hours to charge this battery on the slow charger. Now some people will think that is okay and they'll be quite happy with that. Um, but if you make money from these batteries for a living, you know, uh, a lot of guys will be going, holy shit, there's no way I'm waiting three hours for a fucking battery to charge. But the most important thing now is how hot is it? Let's take a look here. We look see three charges now what's the temperature 21 degrees so there you go did keep it cooler six degrees cooler is that really worth it Would that extra six degrees really cause the batteries to deplete or die prematurely um, or are you worried about something else when you charge the batteries that the speed somehow just the speed freaks out the battery cells and they're more likely to conk out on a fast charger because if it's just based on heat well I don't think that's a problem and certainly not when you factor in that it takes nearly three times as long to charge what about a 5 amp hour 18 volt versus a 5 amp hour 40 volt which charge is quicker do they charge the same well this is twice as many cells as this if we want to be equal with the cells then we should get rid of that one and put in a 2.5 amp hour 40 volt they are the same 2.5 amp 36 volt equals 5 amp 18 volt but what should we do should we put the 5 against the two and a half because it's the same cells or the 5 against the 5 just because they're both fives well let's do both let's start with the 5 so this is to see on a 40 volt charger which charges first a 5 amp hour 18 volt or a 5 amp hour 40 volt stick the adapter on I'll tell you about the little songs that they play too later if you don't already know about that so let's get everything ready here let's go once again i'll leave that for about half an hour 40 minutes something like that and i'll come back and check in with you eh? so we've got the 80 percent light has come on on the 5 amp hour 40 volt came on must have been around the 37 minute mark still flashing for the 18 volt so is the 40 volt going to beat the 18 volt that's pretty impressive Let's see. Well, there we have it. The 40 volt one. I'm slightly surprised. I thought the 5 amp hour 18 volt would have finished charging a few minutes ago. I have drained these batteries completely as much as I possibly can until those, that single light is flashing. I do that by, you know, they get used, they drain down, but often they don't usually flash. Um, I then chuck them on a fan and drain them right down until no tool will work anymore. They're just a flashing single light. And I guess that's drained that 18 volt good and proper. So just hit the 15 minute mark and she's still going. While we're waiting for the um, 
18 volt finish. Let's just see what the temperature is inside this 40 volt. Unfortunately, you can't find out the temperature on this checkout on the 18 volt stuff. But we'll have a nosy at the inside of this, just out of interest while we wait. So the battery's had 30 charges, 26 degrees. 20 cells, like the 8 amp power. We started off at basically the same temperature as the test I did the other day, and yeah, 26 degrees. The other one was 27, so they don't get too hot. 41.4 volts she's charged up to. 5 amp power, 18 volt is ticking a long time. Meant to be quicker on the 40 volt charger than the 18 volt charger. So, what's happening there? Alright, I hear 55 minutes. Wow. Much, much slower. Okay, let's try this again. 55 minutes. Right, I have another 18 volt battery so this one uh, this one flashing yep this is the same vintage as the other battery the ones i use for testing they haven't had many charges there are only around the 20 to 30 something charges both of these batteries so these both have 10 cells they've both got the same output so they're both 90 watt hour batteries so in theory should they charge at the same time this is 10 cells in series, this is 5 and 5 in parallel. So let's go again and see what difference this makes. And see if this battery is a bit quicker than this one, because 55 does seem a little slow. Now remember these batteries have been sitting there for 24 hours cold as well, so they're not hot, they're not having to cool down before they charge. Okay, here we go, again. rush off and do some more work again. I'll be back pretty soon for this one though I think. This is going to be a thrashing at the 20 minute mark. The 40 volt already on 80%. There we go, 27 minutes. Just that. That's going to be half the time of the 18. So, twice the voltage, half the time. Makes sense, doesn't it? How long is this 18 volt one? Once again, while we wait, let's just see what that 2.5 amp power got up to heat wise. 34 degrees Celsius. Not too hot at all. So this one's done the 80% much quicker. Interesting. That's more the usual number that I've seen when I've been charging. That first one must have been a bit of an anomaly. Or, when this one was charging, the 5 amp hour 40 volt, was it sucking so much juice that this one couldn't charge as fast? Well, to test that possible hypothesis, let's, um, let's do this. So I've got two 4 amp hour batteries here, nice and flat and we have an 8 sitting here on the charger ready to go as well. We're going to have one 4 and the 8 on the dual charger and the other 4 on the single charger, both rapid chargers. So what I want to see is, will these two charge at the same rate? Will they end up charged at the same time? And so the 8 is to see if this charger is going to end up firing a bit more power over here and not charge this one as quick as it can charge that one. What do you reckon? Place your bets now. We'll come back in another whatever it is, half an hour, see how things are going. A lot of fans. Well, there we have it. Was I right? Is this sucking up more power? Because this one has hit the 80% mark first. Is it going to be a significant difference? Time will tell. So it was an extra three or four minutes for this one. Quite a big gap. So the single charger won, but by how much? Oh, 
Why well, would you look at that? So even though that was three or four minutes slower, um, getting to the 80% mark, only about 30 seconds difference on the um, full charge. So the 8 amp didn't seem to make much difference. So a dual charger can charge batteries just as fast as a single charger. Good to know. Always thought it could. So to wrap this thing up a bit, would you rather have one of these charging in an hour and 20 minutes or one charging in three hours and 20 minutes? If you're a tradie, you are going to pick this one every time. The only people that really want these things to charge slow are people that have the luxury of time to charge their batteries overnight. Uh, even overnight though, if you're a tradie and you're going through a, a ton of batteries, you want to charge them quickly. You've got to get them done. You've got to whack them through the charger. You can't be sitting around waiting three hours to charge a battery. You need them done quick. Time is money. And on the job site, a slow charger is completely useless. You want your batteries charged fast. And the cost of potentially, supposedly, this is all hearsay, destroying these batteries f from charging them too fast compared to charging them slowly, it's just not worth it. You are far better off charging them quickly and potentially replacing them earlier. And if you're waiting on a battery that's one hour and a battery that's three hours, well then you're gonna need several more charges. So you're, gonna, you're not gonna save any money because you're gonna be buying more charges to keep up because you're gonna have to have batteries charging all over the place to make things work instead of charging them quickly on one charger. I don't see it working. Certainly not with Makita chargers and Makita batteries because the chargers don't get the batteries really hot. So I don't think it's really damaging the cells any quicker than a slow charger. But maybe they should make a charger where you can dial it up and down. You can do it slow, trickle charge, or you can whack it up to fire it out as quickly as possible. And then you decide and they just make the one charger and everyone can just pick how they want to do it. And if you normally like doing it slow, but one day you need it a bit quicker, you can just ramp it up. Let me know what you think about that idea. But anyway, with Makita batteries and Makita chargers, I personally don't think it's a problem, and I know a ton of you are going to hate on me for that. The other thing I need to tell you before we leave this video is the tunes. I told you about that. There still seems to be a lot of people that don't know how this works or don't realize that their Makita charger does this. All the 18 volt rapid chargers and all of the 40 volt chargers do this. Hear that sound? Okay, it's playing a little tune. And you might be now saying, Hey, mine doesn't play a tune. If yours has this little symbol here, the um, music symbol, you know, the two little notes, that means it does have music. But it comes with no music. You have to do it yourself. And what you do is you put the battery on, take it off. Okay, that's pretty standard, just a beat. Then we've got the first tune. Second tune. Third tune. Fourth tune, and back to just a, that beat, and then that beat. So you can just pick whatever you want just by just over and over again until you find the one you want. So that's how that is done, and that is another video done. I'm Tools, even though this is Builds, and I will see you on another one soon. Until then, check out some of the videos that might be up in the top corner or down in the description or at the end of this video or over on one of my other channels, Tools and Stuff or um, Voiceless Tool Reviews. And thanks for watching. See you again later. Cheers, guys. What's your favorite tune? That's got to be the best one, doesn't it? Da 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 da